forestry industry safety accord at the moment uh, to date has got over 500 members uh, we're now uh, developing the next um, FISA uh, forestry strategy uh, for health and safety of, for the next three years. Uh, we've focused on chainsaw refresher training at the moment. Um, we've also developed the technical supervisors course and the forestry works managers. Um, within the next two years we'll be looking at further chainsaw use, haulage and electricity. And we're going to make a, a better, safer industry. With everybody working together, we'll achieve that. I've done a chainsaw refresher course. I've been in the industry now for 25 years. I'm not on the saw quite as much as I used to be, so you do find that you get complacent. Chainsaw operators do need a refresher course every five years, and FISA run these courses. They also do a course for supervising which is which is very beneficial and at the end of the day safety is what we're trying to achieve and safety is paramount. Safety has always been important in Tail Hill uh, but a particular point in time where we made a real change in our attitude was in 2009 and that led to us embarking on a programme of behavioural change that we called Insist on Safety. 2,000 people involved, uh, led by the directors of the business, because we recognised that was important. As that gathered traction for us, then uh, FISA comes along and uh, we've been very supportive of FISA, founder members of FISA, because it's important that the industry moves as a whole on these issues and not just by individual companies. Really, working in health and safety involves an awareness, not just of oneself, but an awareness of other people, a preparedness to talk to other people to make sure that they are using safe practices, and an awareness to be open to having those things raised with oneself, and an openness to discuss and learn best practice to make sure that you are safe and others are safe. We owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our staff, to have a zero tolerance attitude towards things that may have a consequence of death.